Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I am just sitting here just for a few minutes to do this video because it is a beautiful day. Not a lot of sun, but it's coming out now and again and we are about 26 degrees today where I am. That's how hot it's getting up to this afternoon. So I will be out in my garden. There's no way am I sitting knitting or crocheting in the house. Just doing a little bit of this while I'm doing this video. This is a another um, phone pouch I'm doing for Pat this time. She phoned me and asked me... Um, Pat always phones me and asks me for for things that uh, she wants. So this is one for her. But I'm only doing this while I'm sitting doing this video because I'm not doing anything else. But I'm going to put that down. And I have had... This was a couple of days ago. I haven't done a video for, I think, about three days. I'm not sure exactly. But, you know, this video... Doing these videos is like a job to me. I do like a few days off now and again. <laughs> but I get people either messaging me one way or another and thinking there's something wrong with me. You're one of them, Val. Because <laughs> I have, they haven't seen my videos for a couple of days. But anyway, this was a happy meal that came. It came from Amazon, I think. Yes, well, these are the, um, the packages you get in Amazon. I have opened it and I have been using it, but I put it back in the um, the thing to show you what it was. Um, there was a note in with it, but it didn't say who this was from. I've read the note a few times in case I missed anything, but it doesn't say who it's from. But there was a lady mentioned, a lady called Jane, who actually mentioned this in one of the comments. And... This Happy Meal has been sent to me and it is the gloves, the white gloves. For doing my knitting pure wool, I have to push them right down to my finger things because they're a little bit tight. For doing my knitting for when I'm using pure wool. So <laughs> that's my happy meal for knitting this. I have been using them to knit this and they do take a little bit getting used to because it's not the same as feeling the needle and the, um, the wool. I'm happy that this has only got 20% wool and I can do a little bit knitting before it starts to make my hands itch. But it did take a little bit getting used to this. I'll show you. Because they are a little bit thicker. I was using plastic gloves before, but I couldn't really use those in this when, you know, the weather gets this hot. But it takes a little bit getting used to, but it's much better than the... Um, Because I'm not actually feeling the, the needles like I, I normally would. I can feel it better with the, um, the plastic glove or the rubber gloves or whatever they are. But they make my hands sweat so they're not much good. But I need needles really to use needles. These are very slippy, these needles. That's why they're so good to knit with. But to use gloves and these needles, I have some other ones in one of my other bag. I'm going to shift to um, some different ones that are not so, not so shiny and not so slippy as these ones. But they do take a little bit getting used to. I can't sort of knit as fast as I normally do. I probably will with the other needles. That, that's not so slippy. So that was just to show you <laughs> what those and. And they are going to come in very handy when I'm knitting. I'm taking them off because it seems too warm this weather at the moment for a pair of gloves on my hands. They're going to come in very handy because I do have a few balls of pure wool. 
that I haven't been even thought about knitting because of what it what happens to me but I have these now so I'll probably knit up the, the pure wool that I do have with using something like this so thank you very much whoever it was that sent these to me <laughs> it could possibly have been Jane but I'm sure if it's not the whoever it was will let me know in a, um, a comment and just to show you the sort of things that happen to me because of allergies I have quite a lot of allergies um, I can't wear perfume on my skin even underarm deodorant it took me a long time to find an underarm deodorant that does not affect me and that is usually the Dove just the original Dove one but I tried one in Aldi's quite a lot of months ago actually and the last few days I've been getting itch like something not right under my arm and I can maybe show you, I don't know whether you'll be able to see on this video but <laughs> I'll get as close as I can and show you what's happened to me you see it's just like little marks here, there and there and all around here the all red marks on that one and that one and I didn't realise, but that underarm deodorant from Aldi's, I've suddenly become allergic to it after using it for months. And it's took me a few days to realise why I was getting so itch, itchy under the arms. Well, that's what happens to my hands as well, if I knit with pure wool. I'm okay with like, what I'm knitting with that one. I can knit with it for um, more or less a few minutes before the itch starts. If I was using 100% wool, it would be like what it is under my arms. And I am being itching like a loppy dog. <laughs> Since I'm going to have to go back to the um, the Dove original and hoping that one's okay now. Because I just seem to be getting one allergy after another. I don't know what it is. I haven't always been allergic to, um, to perfume, the underarm deodorants or anything like that. Even some soaps, I have to be careful what soaps I use. But <laughs> that's, <laughs> it could be something to do with age as your body changes as you're getting older. Um, I don't know whether it's anything to do with that, but um, I just suddenly be I become allergic to everything. Certain foods that I eat as well, some foods I can't eat because they go through my system the wrong way too. <laughs> but anyway, the reason I haven't been doing a lot of videos as I've been working on these. This is my latest pattern which everybody's been asking me for. I'm sick of getting emails for them but this is the the 16 to 24 inch raindrop pattern. I've finished it. A picture on the, uh, the back. That's my phone there. Sounds like I'm a, um, AB. Picture on the back as well. Well, that's my first one I printed off. People don't realise how long it takes to do these. I've been doing these about the last two or three days and it takes me that long just to print. It's only printed on two pages inside, but it takes a lot of time to print all of them out. And then I have to work out the, um, the pictures. I have to get the pictures and I have to put them through a process especially the front one that gives you what's actually on the pattern I have to do put that through a process get the picture the right size to fit the the page and the same with the one on the um the back so I have been working on this about the last two days on and off that's why I haven't been doing any videos as well as, as well so just to show you the kind of thing what I have to go through what happens I got that perfect on the front. I got that perfect inside. But that one didn't come out right. <laughs> I saved, that was a picture I have. They were all the three sizes that I had done from a 16 inch, an 18 inch, and a 20 inch. And then the front is a 22 and the 24. So I thought I had all the sizes, but I lost that picture. I had it on my phone 
I thought I had put it into my computer, but I couldn't find it on my computer. Went into my phone, but I had been deleting a lot of pictures out of my phone because it's starting to get a bit too full with videos and pictures and things. And I must have deleted that one. Well, I found it again on the um, the Google Pictures thing that saves your pictures for you. But when I downloaded it back into my phone and then into my computer, it came out too small. And so I couldn't get it to print out properly because I was having to enlarge it. And that was the only way the size it would enlarge too for the... It actually showed, before I printed it, it actually showed the whole picture on there that was going to print, but that was the way it came out. So I had to work on that for ages, and then I ended up saying, oh, to hell with it. <laughs> I found another picture I had with the, um, the same pattern on. That is the... That one there, actually, on the... Uh, no, it's not. It's that one there. So, I now have found the right one. <laughs> that is the raindrop pattern. Now, I know a lot of you have been asking for this. So, but I want... I don't know how many of you, but any number of you that would like to do this pattern... This is the PDF. I'm only sending it out as a PDF at the moment and I want someone to test the pattern to make sure I haven't done any mistakes in it, which I tend to do when I'm writing. Especially when you're sitting and you're writing for hours. It took me the part in the middle with just the writing on there. That took me from 9 o'clock this morning until um, it's 3 o'clock now, until about half 2, just to write that out. And then I have to, all the hours I have to work out for the rest, for the pictures and, and all that. But when you've been sitting writing something like that for hours on end, you know, your eyes tend to go Google and <laughs> make mistakes. So I want any number of you who, who get this PDF to knit at least one of the sizes and let me know if you find any mistakes in it. And once I've got that sorted, I will send it out to sell it on AB and um, on Etsy. And I also give the PDFs free for anyone that asks me. But there'll be PDFs on Etsy as well for people in other countries uh, who can't buy the pattern uh, because of being in other countries and because of the um, the posters. The posters are actually just for a pattern to another country is not that much. Um, in the UK, I send them out second class. And that's an 85 pence postage stamp. Um, to go to the likes of the United States or any other country, Germany, it Italy, Spain, anywhere, it's around about £2.25 pence for to send it out. So if anyone in other countries want it, I will send it out if they send me a message personally. But you can't buy them from other countries, um, from AB or Etsy. So that's that one sorted, I hope, and I can start working on some other ones. I do have another one that I only have one size to do. But I do have quite a few patterns in my book. I do have a book here. And it's got lots, <laughs> lots and lots of patterns. Some I already have, but there's lots and lots I've done. Just on odd one or two sizes that I need to do with the other sizes to, um, to get the, the thing going to be able to start on the PDFs. But anyway, I've been doing a little bit more knitting as well. I've started this one. This is for a lady called Denise. Whoops, I've lost the end of there. I've already sent her. She's the one, that, the lady that bought the two. She bought those two cardigans on there. I do have a little video where I show you those on my table so you can see them better. I'll put that on in a moment. But she has asked me to do another pattern another cardigan a 22 inch and she wants me to do she just asked me she left it up to me because um she did see she thought about this one but she wanted it in white with the little flowers that i embroidered on another little one but this pattern here is not suitable for putting the embroidery on you need a space where this one's patterns all filled in all over it so i thought about the rosebud lace one and i thought about maybe putting 
there were the little flowers I put on a little all-in-one cardigan I did and I just put a couple of little you know on the, um, the front a couple of little flowers here and a little one further down I think it was but I thought maybe it's on just along the bottom of this cardigan where there were like green leaves and pink she wants pink flowers with the green leaves like what I done on the cardigan so that's what I'd probably be doing either across the bottom or down the front of the um the cardigan I'm not sure until I finish it but anyway this is one of the little things I do in the morning like where I do my crochet things I do a little bit crochet and a little bit small cardigans and things do my orders in the afternoon and maybe it's of a night time as well so that's so that's if you're watching Denise that's the um the pattern I'm doing you the rosebud one and I'm going to put the little flowers on there but I'll stop this video just for a minute and I'll show you the the little video I did to show you what these cardigans actually look like instead of looking at them on the paper so these are the last two sizes on my raindrop pattern it's a 22 and a 24 inch so I will now be able to start writing out the um the PDF for anyone that may want it and these two cardigans are spoken for so I was asked for them before I had even finished the, um, the brown one the same ladies bought the two and I will be posting them off today so they they will not be going on my eBay shop so that's what those two little cardigans look like because um, I got them sent away um, they were, I hadn't even finished the brown one when I was asked for the, um, those two cardigans so I didn't have a chance with not doing any videos and they were packed up and sent off so I couldn't show you them like hold them up so that's why I've done a little video that's why I did that little video so you can see what that actually came out like and I was at my bingo last night and my friend again I seem to have no luck these days but my friend did win, I think I got a number on the domino card. She won £25, so we had £12.50 to come home with. Better than nothing, I have a little jar and any money I win on the bingo or any cash that's sent to me, you know, that pays for any things. I keep them in a little jar and that's what I pay for my bingo thing. I just keep them dipping in that jar and taking the money for my bingo night out of there. Only it's starting to get a little bit low at the moment because you haven't been winning a lot. <laughs> but that's it. I've got £12.50 to put back in anyway. That will pay towards part of next week's. So anyway, that's my little bit for today. So I'm going to pop out in my garden. The sun's disappeared again, but I'm not bothered. It is very warm, actually. I think, I'm sure my phone said it was going up to about 26 degrees today. I'm going to check and have a look. Yes, by four o'clock we are getting 26 degrees and it's not getting much cooler during the night so I think it's going to be a very muggy night tonight but the next few days it's cooling down again and Saturday we're going to have 20 degrees, 21 degrees Saturday but also rain, no sun and rain or no sun but rain Sunday we are down to 17 degrees and heavy rain, part, parts heavy rain. Maybe it's an odd sunny spell. Monday 19 degrees with rain again. Oh and Tuesday 17 degrees. We're getting sunshine but it's only it's getting down to 17 degrees so that's nearly a 10 degree drop from today. But anyway... It's nice to get it where we can and then I have some, like I'm saying, I've got some things to do in my garden. So thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.